Metz, German pronunciation, MTS, is a city in northeast France located at the confluence of the Moselle and the Say rivers. Metz is the capital and the prefecture of both the Lorraine region and the Moselle department. Located near the trip point along the junction of France, Germany, and Luxembourg, the city forms the central place of the European Greater Region and the Saal or Lux Euro region. Metz has a rich 3,000-year history, having variously been a Celtic oppidum, an important Gallo-Roman city. The Merovingian capital of the Austrasia Kingdom, the birthplace of the Carolingian dynasty, a cradle of the Gregorian chant, and one of the oldest republics in Europe. The city has been seeped in Romance culture, but has been strongly influenced by Germanic culture due to its location and history. Because of its historical, cultural, and architectural background, Metz has been submitted on France's UNESCO World Heritage tentative list. The city features noteworthy buildings such as the Gothic St. Stephen Cathedral with its largest expanse of stained glass windows in the world, the Basilica of St. Pierre aux Nonnes being the oldest church in France its imperial station palace displaying the apartment of the German Kaiser, or its opera house, the oldest one working in France. Metz is home to some world-class venues including the Arsenal Concert Hall and the Centre Pompidou Metz Museum. A basin of urban ecology, Metz gained its nickname of the Green City, as it has extensive open grounds and public gardens. The historic city centre is one of the largest commercial pedestrian areas in France. A historic garrison town, Metz is the economic heart of the Lorraine region, specialising in information technology and automotive industries. Metz is home to the University of Lorraine and a centre for applied research and development in the materials sector. Notably in metallurgy and metallography, the heritage of the Lorraine regions passed in the iron and steel industry. Etymology In ancient times, the town was known as City of Media Matrasai, being inhabited by the tribe of the same name. After its integration into the Roman Empire, the city was called Devo Durum Media Matricum, meaning Holy Village or Holy Fortress of the Media Matrasai. Then it was known as Media Matrix. During the 5th century AD, the name evolved to Metis, which gave rise to Metz. History Metz has a recorded history dating back over 3,000 years. Before the conquest of Gaul by Julius Caesar in 52 BC, it was the oppidum of the Celtic Media Matrasi tribe. Integrated into the Roman Empire, Metz became quickly one of the principal towns of Gaul with a population of 40,000 until the barbarian depredations and its transfer to the Franks about the end of the 5th century. Between the 6th and 8th centuries, the city was the residence of the Merovingian kings of Austrasia. After the Treaty of Erdogan in 843, Metz became the capital of the Kingdom of Lotharingia and was ultimately integrated into the Holy Roman Empire, being granted semi-independent status. During the 12th century, Metz rose to the status of Republic and the Republic of Metz ruled until the 15th century. With the signature of the Treaty of Chambord in 1552, Metz passed to the hands of the kings of France. Under French rule, Metz was selected as capital of the three bishoprics and became a strategic fortified town. With creation of the departments by the Estates General of 1789, Metz was chosen as capital of the Department of Moselle. After the defeat of France during the Franco-Prussian War and according to the Treaty of Frankfurt of 1871, the city was annexed into the German Empire, being part of the imperial territory of Alsace-Lorraine and serving as capital of the German Department of Lorraine. Metz remained German until the end of World War I, when it reverted to France. However, after the Battle of France during the Second World War, the city was annexed once more by the German Third Reich. In 1944, the attack on the city by the U.S. Third Army freed the city from German rule and Metz reverted one more time to France after World War II. During the 1950s, Metz was chosen to be the capital of the newly created Lorraine region, with the creation of the European Community and the later European Union. 
The city has become central to the greater region and the Saal or Lux Euro region. Geography. Metz is located on the banks of the Moselle and the Se rivers, 43 kilometers from the Schengen tripoint where the borders of France, Germany, and Luxembourg meet. The city was built in a place where many branches of the Moselle River create several islands, which are encompassed within the urban planning. Metz and its surrounding countryside are included in the Forest and Crop Lorraine Regional Natural Park, covering a total area of 205,000 hectares. Climate The climate of Lorraine is a semi-continental climate. The summers are humid and hot, sometimes stormy, and the warmest month of the year is August, when temperatures average approximately 26 degrees Celsius. The winters are cold and snowy with temperature dropping to an average of minus 0.5 degrees Celsius in January. Lows can be much colder through the night and early morning and the snowy period extends from November to February. The length of the day varies significantly over the course of the year. The shortest day is the 21st of December with 8.01 hours of sunlight. The longest day is the 20th of June with 15.58 hours of sunlight. The median cloud cover is 93% and does not vary substantially over the course of the year. Demographics Population The inhabitants of Metz are called Messens. Statistics on the ethnic and religious makeup of the population of Metz are haphazard, as the French Republic prohibits making distinctions between citizens regarding race, beliefs, and political and philosophic opinions in the process of census-taking. The French National Census of 2012 estimated the population of Metz to be 119,551, while the population of Metz urban agglomeration was about 389,851. Through history, Metz's population has been impacted by the vicissitudes of the wars and annexations involving the city, which have prevented continuous population growth. More recently, the city has suffered from the restructuring of the military and the metallurgy industry. The historical population for the current area of Metz municipality is as follows. Notable people linked to the city Several well-known figures have been linked to the city of Metz throughout its history. Renowned Messons include poet Paul Verlaine, composer Ambroise Thomas, and mathematician Jean-Victor Poncelet. Numerous well-known German figures were also born in Metz notably during the annexation periods. Moreover, the city has been the residence of people such as writer François Rabelais, Cardinal Mazarin, political thinker Alexis de Tocqueville, French patriot and American Revolutionary War hero the Marquis de Lafayette, and Luxembourg-born German-French statesman Robert Schumann. Law and Government Local law The local law applied in Metz is a legal system that operates in parallel with French law. Created in 1919, it preserves the French laws applied in France before 1870 and maintained by the Germans during the annexation of Alsace-Lorraine, but repealed in the rest of France after 1871. It also maintains German laws enacted by the German Empire between 1871 and 1918, specific provisions adopted by the local authorities and French laws that have been enacted after 1919 to be applicable only in Alsace-Lorraine. This specific local legislation encompasses different areas including religion, social work and finance. The most striking of the legal differences between France and Alsace-Lorraine is the absence in Alsace-Lorraine of strict secularism. Even though a constitutional right of freedom of religion is guaranteed by the French government, Alsace-Lorraine is still governed by a pre-1905 law established by the Concordat of 1801, which provides for the public subsidy of the Roman Catholic, Lutheran, and Calvinist churches and the Jewish religion. Administration Like every commune of the present French Republic, Metz is managed by a mayor and a municipal council, democratically elected by two round proportional voting for six years. The mayor is assisted by 54 municipal councillors, and the municipal council is held on the last Thursday of every month. Since 2008, the mayor of Metz has been socialist Dominique Gross.
The city belongs to the Metz Metropole Union of Cities, which includes the 40 cities of the Metz urban agglomeration. Metz is the seat of government of Lorraine region and the prefecture of the Moselle, based in the former St. Clement Abbey and Intendant Palace, respectively. City administrative divisions The city of Metz is divided into 14 administrative divisions. Cityscape and environmental policy Metz contains a mishmash of architectural layers, bearing witness to centuries of history at the crossroads of different cultures, and features a number of architectural landmarks. The city possesses one of the largest urban conservation areas in France, and more than 100 of the city's buildings are classified on the Monument Historic List. Because of its historical and cultural background, Metz is designated as French Town of Art and History and has been submitted onto France's UNESCO World Heritage Tentative List. The city is famous for its yellow limestone architecture, a result of the extensive use of Jomont stone. The historic district has kept part of the Gallo-Roman city with Divo Durum's Cardo Maximus, then called Via Scarponensis, and the Decamanus Maximus. At the Cardo and Decamanus intersection was situated the Roman Forum, today the St. Jack Square. Architecture from its Gallo-Roman past the city preserves vestiges of the Thermae, parts of the aqueduct, and the Basilica of St. pierre o nonans St. Louis Square with its vaulted arcades and a Knights Templar chapel remains a major symbol of the city's high medieval heritage. The Gothic St. Stephen Cathedral, several churches and hotels, and two remarkable municipal granaries reflect the late Middle Ages. Examples of Renaissance architecture can be seen in hotels from the 16th century, such as the House of Heads. The city hall and the buildings surrounding the town square are by French architect Jacques-François Blondel who was awarded the task of redesigning and modernizing the center of Metz by the Royal Academy of Architecture in 1755 the context of the Enlightenment. Neoclassical buildings from the 18th century, such as the Opera House, the Intendant Palace, and the Royal Governor's Palace built by Charles Louis Clarisseau, are also found in the city. The Imperial District was built during the first annexation of Metz by the German Empire. In order to Germanize the city, Emperor Wilhelm II decided to create a new district shaped by a distinctive blend of Germanic architecture, including Renaissance, Neo-Romanesque and Neoclassical, mixed with elements of Art Nouveau, Art Deco, Alsatian and mock Bavarian styles. Instead of Jomont stone, commonly used everywhere else in the city, stone used in the Rhineland, such as pink and grey sandstone, granite and basalt were used. The district features noteworthy buildings including the rail station and the central post office by German architect Jürgen Kroger. Modern architecture can also be seen in the town with works of French architects Roger Henry Expert, Georges Henry Pingerson, and Jean Dubuisson. The refurbishment of the former Ney Arsenal as a concert hall in 1989 and the erection of the Metz Arena in 2002 by Spanish and French architects Ricardo Bofill and French Paul Chermitov represent the postmodern movement. The Centre Pompidou Metz Museum in the Amphitheatre District represents a strong architectural initiative to mark the entrance of Metz into the 21st century. Designed by Japanese architect Shigeru Ban, the building is remarkable for the complex, innovative carpentry of its roof and integrates concepts of sustainable architecture. The project encompasses the architecture of two recipients of the Pritzker Architecture Prize, Shigeru Ban and French Christian de Port Zampark. The amphitheatre district is also conceived by French architects Nicolas Michelin, Jean-Paul Vigier, and Jean-Michel Wilmeter and designer Philippe Stark. The urban project is expected to be completed by 2023. Further, a contemporary music venue designed by contextualist French architect Rudy Rich O.T. stands in the Borny district. Urban ecology under the leadership of such people as botanist Jean-Marie Pelt, Metz pioneered a policy of urban ecology during the early 1970s. 
because of the failure of post-war urban planning and housing estate development in Europe during the 1960s, mostly based on the concepts of CIAM. Jean-Marie Pelt, then municipal councillor of Metz, initiated a new approach to the urban environment. Based initially on the ideas of the Chicago School, Pelt's theories pleaded for better integration of humans into their environment and developed a concept centered on the relationship between stone and water. His policy was realized in Metz by the establishment of extensive open areas surrounding the Moselle and the Say rivers and the development of large pedestrian areas. As a result, Metz has over 37 square meters of open areas per inhabitant in the form of numerous public gardens in the city. The principles of urban ecology are still applied in Metz with the implementation of a local Agenda 21 action plan. The municipal ecological policy encompasses the sustainable refurbishment of ancient buildings, the erection of sustainable districts and buildings, green public transport, and the creation of public gardens by means of landscape architecture. Additionally, the city has developed its own combined heat and power station, using wastewood biomass from the surrounding forests as a renewable energy source. With a thermal efficiency above 80%, the 45-MW boiler of the plant provides electricity and heat for 44,000 dwellings. The Metz power station is the first local producer and distributor of energy in France. Military architecture as a historic garrison town, Metz has been heavily influenced by military architecture throughout its history. From ancient history to the present, the city has been successively fortified and modified to accommodate the troops stationed there. Defensive walls from classical antiquity to the 20th century are still visible today, incorporated into the design of public gardens along the Moselle and Say rivers. A medieval bridge castle from the 13th century, named German's Gate, today converted into a convention and exhibition center, has become one of the landmarks of the city. Remains of the citadel from the 16th century and fortifications built by Louis de Cormontaine are still visible today. Important barracks, mostly from the 18th and 19th centuries, are spread around the city. The extensive fortifications of Metz, which ring the city, include early examples of S.E. Acute R.E. Acute de Rivière's system forts. Other forts were incorporated into the Maginot Line. A hiking trail on the St. Quentin Plateau passes through a former military training zone and ends at the now abandoned military forts, providing a vantage point from which to survey the city. Economy. Although the steel industry has historically dominated Moselle's economy, Metz's efforts at economic diversification have created a base in the sectors of commerce, tourism, information technology and the automotive industry. The city is the economic heart of the Lorraine region and around 73,000 people work daily within the urban agglomeration. The transport facilities found in the conurbation, including the International High Speed Railway, motorway, inland connections and the local bus rapid transit system, have made the city a transport hub in the heart of the European Union. Metz is home to the biggest harbour handling cereals in France with over 4 million tonnes year. Metz is home to the Moselle Chamber of Commerce. International companies such as PSA Peugeot Citroën, ArcelorMittal, SFR, and TDF have established plants and centres in the Metz conurbation. Metz is also the regional headquarters of the Kestep Agner and Bong Populaire banking groups. Metz is an important commercial centre of northern France with France's biggest retailer federation, consisting of around 2,000 retailers. Important retail companies are found in the city, such as the Galleries Lafayette, the Printemps department store and the FNAC entertainment retail chain. The historic city centre displays one of the largest commercial pedestrian areas in France and Amman, the Saint-Jacques Centre. In addition, there are several multiplex movie theatres and malls found in the urban agglomeration. In recent years, Metz municipality have promoted an ambitious policy of tourism development 
including urban revitalization and refurbishment of buildings and public squares. This policy has been spurred by the creation of the Centre Pompidou Metz in 2010. Since its inauguration, the institution has become the most popular cultural venue in France outside Paris, with 550,000 visitors per year. Meanwhile, St. Stephen Cathedral is the most visited building in the city, accommodating 652,000 visitors per year.